Facts First presents A man drank energy drinks every day. This is what happened to him. Well, a man drank energy drinks every day, and this is what happened to him. Dean Warmby was a professional bodybuilder. In order to keep his amazing physique, he had to consume 10,000 calories every day, which was necessary to keep up his muscle mass. Most of his meals consisted of high-calorie, fat-filled, unhealthy food. When he died, people thought that it was his diet that killed him. However, it turns out it was energy drinks. Energy drinks are one of the most popular beverages on the market, and they're sold all over the world. They're so popular because they can give you a quick boost of energy while helping you to concentrate. Many people drink a few energy drinks a week. Some enjoy one a day. Dean took his love for energy drinks way too far by drinking two energy drinks per hour while he worked out. In the beginning, the energy drinks were working wonders for Dean in the gym. Not only did they help him focus on his workouts, he also got the energy that he needed while he was in the gym training. Sadly, Dean was diagnosed with cancer. Some people thought that it was almost a blessing because he would be able to stop all of his bad habits. At first, he started eating healthy and he gave up the energy drinks. After going through treatment, his doctors told him that his tumors were beginning to shrink and disappear. When he heard that, he started eating fast food again and drinking several energy drinks each day. Because he went back to his old ways, he found out he had liver cancer again. At first, he didn't think that it was his bad habits that had anything to do with his cancer diagnosis. When doctors told him that his bad habits and his energy drink consumption destroyed his liver and also created cancer cells, it was then that he realized that he was responsible for his bleak prognosis. Sadly, Dean was not able to beat the cancer the second time, and he passed away. He left behind a wife and a daughter who were devastated when he passed. One of the reasons that overconsumption of energy drinks is so dangerous is it contains niacin. This ingredient is known to cause severe damage to the liver. It can even cause your liver to fail. An average energy drink can contain up to 40 milligrams of niacin. It's this ingredient that doctors believe is what cost Dean his life. Dean isn't the only sad story involving energy drinks. A man went to the hospital believing he had the flu. When the doctors examined him, they discovered that he was developing jaundice, and they knew that what he had was not the flu. He was diagnosed with hepatitis, which is an inflammation of the liver. This condition can lead to liver failure or cancer. The doctors asked him if he had any family history of liver problems, and he told them no. What he did tell them, though, is that he was drinking at least two energy drinks every day for years. The doctors couldn't prove that his energy drink consumption was the cause, but they did suspect it. It's especially because they saw a woman who had hepatitis, and she admitted to drinking several energy drinks each day as well. If you do love your energy drinks, the good news is that there are healthy alternatives that will still give you energy. One great alternative is coconut water. Not only is this drink refreshing and it'll quench your thirst, it also contains natural sugar and electrolytes that'll give you a boost of energy without worrying about that midday crash. Another great alternative is a banana and wheatgrass smoothies. Bananas are rich in fiber, and they're loaded with potassium. The wheatgrass helps to build red blood cells, which are responsible for transferring oxygen through your body. These energy drink alternatives are all natural, and they won't cause damage to your body. Best of all, they'll give you the boost of energy that you're looking for to get through your workout or through your workday. If you frequently consume energy drinks, the worst thing you can do is live in denial. There are many people who have the it-won't-happen-to-me attitude. These are the people who end up getting sick. The next time you go to the store and you're about to buy an energy drink, think about Dean and all of the pain that he went through before he passed away. Also, think about his wife and his daughter who had to mourn his death. If his story doesn't resonate enough, think about the man that walked into the hospital believing he had the flu or the woman who drank two energy drinks a day for two years. These people suffered needlessly just for a quick pick-me-up. As of now, the Food and Drug Administration has not banned the consumption of energy drinks in the United States. There are many people who believe it's only a matter of time before they do.